Am I the asshole? For not giving my son's mom makeup days after he fell out of a tree? My son Ashton is in the fourth grade and I share custody of him with my ex. We have a schedule where we basically get him one week each. There were times where she dicked me by taking extra days without giving me the same time back. For example, she took him to visit her family in another state and came back two days later because of flight issues. Because that wasn't her fault, she refused to comp me with extra days. Stuff like that. Ashton's school is connected to a park and every Friday they do PE there. Well he's nine and does stupid things and decided to see how far he could climb a tree. He got pretty far and then fell out. He had to get emergency surgery on his leg and got a bad concussion. He stayed overnight and then had another surgery on Saturday and released that day. My ex and I didn't discuss the custody schedule. We were concerned with other matters. On Sunday, my ex said she was going to pick Ashton up for the start of her week and I reminded her that he can't be moved around like that. He's still loopy from the concussion and medicine and how are you going to get a kid with a broken leg into your two-seat Porsche? Another thing is that he's still not able to wash himself and he will not let his mom do that. Just me. I told her she can visit but needs to prepare for him to stay. She was angry but knew I had a point and there were doctor orders. Long story short, my son stayed with me six days later because my ex couldn't get the time off work whereas I wfh. Our 19 year son agreed to help take care of Ashton when Ashton needs a guy for something. Ashton can now use crutches and recovered from his concussion and can go back to school on Monday. My ex said she wanted to be compensated for the six days she lost by having Ashton by getting two weeks instead of one. I said nope. She said that was unfair. I reminded her of all those times when I lost days for things that wasn't her fault and you refused to comp me. It's not my fault Ashton's dumbass fell out of a tree and you couldn't get a week off so I'm not comping you. I told her I'm not going to be flexible with you when you aren't flexible with me. Edit no, my son doesn't get to pick and choose which parent he wants to stay with. That's basically parentifying him. Edit he couldn't wash himself because he was drugged up for a few days and it took a few days to clear his system. Also, he has a cast and can't get in or out of the tub. You have watch him because he will end up wetting his cast. Also he needs both hands to balance in the tub and obviously can't do that and wash his hair at the same time. Info what does Ashton want to do, have extra time with mum to make up for the missed week or come back to you in a week's time? ESH. Yeah, your ex is an R. But so are you, because it's pretty clear from all these responses from you that you are way more invested in being right than you are in your child's welfare. Neither you nor your ex can apparently be trusted to act in good faith. So you need to have your custody arrangement amended to include a specific clause that settles this argument extra days on either side are comp to the other. That's it. No arguing. You are also a giant asshole for the comment that your son's wishes don't matter. ESH. Honestly this is just pettiness all around. Recording compensation like some civil affairs court. Just do what's best for the kid. If he's better at your house than he should stay, vice versa. I feel sorry for your kid. Comp me? We aren't talking about a bill in a restaurant. Seriously. You're both as bad as each other and both need to grow up. ESH. Children aren't pawns. You need to figure out how to co-parent. So much about himself, just being petty with the ex. What about how the child feels? Info, why are neither of you asking your son, who you both claim to love, what he wants? ESH. Any story that starts off with well she did it first, is an ESH story. ESH. Focus on what your child needs and wants. If Ashton wants extra time with mom, let him have it. If Ashton wants or needs extra time with you, die on that hill. And mom needs to do the same. Her wanting her time with him when he was still recovering is a bad move on her part, and almost moves it into she's the R country. 
This isn't the time to settle old debts, or create new ones. Sh, you so much. Both of you are using your son, a human being with feelings, wants and don'ts, as a pawn to stick it to the other and get what you want. Not as your son, who may want something that you don't like. Go get therapy and actually talk about parenting not about what schedule you want. You your ex are petty as hell. Your son is not a fucking timeshare, he's a person. People like you guys make divorce harder for children than it needs to be. I say this as a child of divorce a parent that go parents with my ex-husband. And you are definitely the author stating it doesn't matter what your son wants. Your child's voice needs to be part of this. Your suck made me actually appreciate that my daughter's father isn't as obtuse as you, and that's not an easy thing to do. Esh this is exactly what my parents did to me. It didn't hurt my other parent, it only hurt me. You're only making your kid's life more difficult. You should be asking your son what he wants to do and respect it. Him choosing the other parent wouldn't be a slight to you either. He's a human being, not an object that you have to get exactly 50 time with. Based entirely off the comments you left, Erta. You're only doing this to be petty and you don't even think your kid's opinion on this matters. It matters it's his life. Shame on you dude, grow up. I read the title and was prepared for the mom to ask for cosmetics somewhere in the story. E.S.H. Talk to you child I was a kid of divorced parents and I hated that I was never in the loop till I was legally required to be when I turned 14 and even then I didn't have a say in the final matter your kids opinions are important don't infinite them. E.S.H. Your kid is not a pawn to get back at each other. E.S.H. Sounds like neither one of you actually gives a crap about your child and are both just interested in being petty assholes to each other. Get it together and be better. What the hell are you trying to say with that edit? How would asking your son for his opinion on where he wants to be parentifying? Are you actually making the argument that giving your 9 years old some freedom of choice would be parentifying? Yes H, but that edit proves that you are a huge R who needs to get an education. Well you sure showed her maybe get a scoreboard so you two can see who wins. Uh, to it's not my fault Ashton's dumbass fell out of a tree. I was gonna go with not the asshole but this comment did it for me. Because your ex should be flexible with you the same as you are. But Ashton's fall was serious enough to require two surgeries and a bad head injury. And this is how you describe the incident? You should be happy your little boy is alive instead of calling him a dumbass. You're the asshole. This is a child not a tool to manipulate and control or use for vengeance and payback. He's a human being, stop treating him like vacation time on a paycheck. You're the asshole for saying not my fault Ashton's dumbass fell out of a tree. Feel for this kid. Probably doing it for attention put your shit aside and parent better.